Today I'm going to be developing some 8x10 film. I've been taking photographs in my garden. It's May now and I've got 14 sheets of film to develop. First step, I'll have to mix all the chemistry. So now we're here in the dark room and I have set up tanks which are um, large enough to accommodate the 8x10 film and I've placed in them all the chemicals that you saw me mixing earlier. This one has the developer which develops the latent image in the film. This one's the stop bath which stops the action of the developer. This one's the fixer. The fixer makes the image permanent and stops the film from being sensitive to light anymore. And this one is the fixer remover, which removes residues of the fixer. I took all of my photographs in the 8x10 camera using these 8 inch by 10 inch film holders. So each one is a single photograph, and there's another photograph that you can take with the other side. So each, each of these holds two sheets of film. And this is the rack that I use to process the film. In a, just a few minutes, I'm going to turn out the lights because this has to be done in complete darkness. And I'm going to take out the film and load one sheet at a time into each one of these hangers. In order to keep track of the time while I'm developing, I use a metronomic timer that makes auditory sound so I know when it's time to move the rack from one uh, tank to the next. Well, I'd love to let you watch this whole thing, but since I've got to do this in the dark, uh, you'll have to wait till the end to see what happens. Well, the film seems to have come out well, and now it's time to wash it. <laughs> 